I come before you into your presence, O oh God. There is none like you. There will never be anyone like you. You seated in the far uttermost of your presence and your glory. The angels bow down before you in worship. The elders, the Bible says, they cast their crowns and worship you. And they say, holy, holy, the incense burn. The smell of the incense, the power of the great God that we serve. Or the Kerubi, the Slaphis, the bow into your presence. The elders cast their crowns. The book of Revelation mentions our brother John while he was in the trance receiving the revelation of our Lord Jesus the Bible records that John saw none in heaven who could open the scroll None could open the scroll and he wept. The Bible says he wept. 
But the angels say, Don't weep, don't cry. The Son of God, the Lamb of God that was slain is able to open the scroll. None could open it. None could open the scroll. But he that was slain. And that is the Son of God. Is worthy to open the scroll. You are worthy of it, oh. You are worthy of it, oh. For from you are all things, and to you all the things. You deserve the glory. bow the Lamb of God and sing you are the of it all the angels bow before your throne oh the Elders cast crowns before the Lamb of God and sing, You are worthy of it. Oh, the door. oh, from you are all things. You deserve the glory. You are worthy of it. Shikete la cote sete. Mande sharaka terebo. Rika tanderebo. Sayande. Mashikoto Riakata Lendo Sarebo Rikata Sikete Rebo Wadi is the Lamb Wadi is he that was slain Your Wadi Lord There's none like you Roshaya Leshaya Roshia Mando Shakata Leposata Manda Shikot Ribu Seya Mandori Kayama Lake Sayaba Roshiketa Sayaba Yowadishia Tariko Shayama Mandele Kosat Haraba. May you receive our worship. Makosaya. Linda Satali Kot Ribo Saya. Mandoroko Shayaba. Lege de Sito. Rakasayama. Lende Sataraba. Rosikata. Mande Seye. Londo Saya. Likata Robosia Mande Mako Toribosi. The angels bow. The elders cast their crowns. You are worthy. Because none 
can open the scroll but you alone what they do you deserve the glory mbala msiza kwenye nate mulinya elisinga manyagona iliamu kama wafe yesu avidida dala omlomu I send you greetings in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. And I send you greetings from our administration that they say hello. And they send greetings to you all in the kingdom of God. We thank God for yet this a new day that he has made. The Bible says we gladly rejoice in this day because his mercies endure us forever. I trust that he has given us this new day. He has given us this great evening by his grace and mercies that we might testify his goodness that's the reason why he has given us again this chance to stand and proclaim his goodness amen the bible says in the book of romans chapter 8 if you're with me romans chapter 8 Romans chapter 8 I cast this verse on your screen Romans chapter 8 verses 15 Amen. Amen I trust that the Lord God we serve will minister to us through his spirit today that you might receive his blessing in Jesus' might name. Romans chapter 8 verses 15 For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry abba father kubanga demwawe bwanate moyo gwabutu okutia na ye mwawe bwa omoyo owokutufuka owokufuka abana koma atukabyanti abba chitafe for ye have not received the spirit of bondage again fear but ye have received the spirit of what adoption now in this verse there are two things that we clearly need to understand, digest, and think of, and listen to what the Spirit of God says. Now, first of all, the verse explicitly and openly shows us two kind of spirits in the verse. One the spirit of bondage which leads into fear and when you talk about fear there are two kinds of fear that we can see or we have the fear of the lord which is beneficial which opens a blessing of wisdom to those who fear him the bible says in the book of proverbs 
that the fear of the Lord is the fountain of life and wisdom. So, in fearing God, that is wisdom. And that is life. So, the spirit from hell, the spirit from the devil himself, it creates fear which is not beneficial. It creates fear in us which get away the presence of God and that is the fear it creates. So fear of God is beneficial. The fear from the devil is not beneficial but it destroys the relationship of man and God. Because once you start to fear, you start to lose the blessings of God. You start to see that God is not present in that day-to-day -day situation. So, that's why the Bible says that do not fear. Many, many times in the Bible, it teaches us do not fear, for I am with you. I make a way where there seems to be no way. Now, for you have known to receive that spirit of fear. Why? Because that spirit destroys, disconnects you with the presence of God. And it disconnects you with his spiritual blessings. When you talk about the spiritual blessings, we're not talking about money. But we are talking about protection, being adopted as a child of God, and being a child of God, and receiving a free gift of righteousness, and receiving his Holy Spirit into your life to replace the old man, hence receiving a new man. That's the Bible says, Oh, we a new creature. Why are we new creatures? It's because we received the spirit of adoption. Hello? The spirit of slavery is from hell. The spirit of adoption is from God. Now, the spirit of adoption is a spirit of God which leads us or which makes a way for us to be called the children of God. That's the spirit that translates us. That's the spirit. It's a spirit which makes us a path to lead us into sonship. It's the spirit of adoption. So being adopted by God, it's another thing. And being called children of God is another thing. You cannot be called a child of God before you are adopted. You have to be adopted, then you are defiled to be a child of God. Now, 
before God, we either approach to Him as adopted children, or we approach to Him as children under slavery or bondage. Hello? Now, the spirit of slavery views God in a different path and the spirit of adoption which we received which cries Abba Father views God in another perspective. So you should be aware the spirit of bondage and slavery sees God in another perspective. And that's a spirit which the devil himself has. And that is the devil himself. But the Bible says that we never received that spirit. But we received a spirit of adoption. The spirit of slavery manifest or manifested or manifested in a legal system. And this is more so seen in cults, in cults, in false doctrines, whereby you cannot have a relationship with God until this and that happens, or until you first do this and this and this and this. Whereby you'll find people lining up from here up to afar in lines holding jelly cans of water buying physical instruments physical attachments rings water handkerchief so that their hope and trust may be found in such items so without it without the sprinkle of water from a prophet you, your business will not grow so which means you need to get water and sprinkle it into your business so that you can receive money or you receive more customers that's a spirit of slavery so that disqualifies you to be adopted by God and in the spiritual realm you are not regarded as a child of God because you are not adopted by the spirit of slavery but you are adopted by the spirit of God which cries Abba Father There are things that keep us in fear that without doing it you'll not see a blessing without doing it you won't feel privileged before God that if you don't tithe you'll get a curse if you don't tithe you'll surely die if you don't tithe if you don't give in church you'll die poor you're not regarded as a child of God if you don't buy this if you don't buy this material they are materials in the body of Christ that are created just to bring fear to bring back the fear that they moved in before they came to the Lord. So such materials are still moving. You need to kiss 
the ring of a prophet so that you receive a blessing you need to touch the shoes of a prophet so that you be blessed you have to bow down and touch on the ground where he has a step so that you be blessed you need to give in money if you don't give in money then you want to receive what he has said so all of your life you'll move with fear fear the fear that won't give God any credit but the credit goes to a prophet or a man of God so that is fear that is timidity your heart creates fear which will distract your inner man and it will create fear which will destroy the presence of God hence you won't fear God but you'll fear the man of God you become fear becomes your monster so we are not given that spirit but we received the spirit of adoption we received the spirit of god through accepting him through accepting jesus as our lord and savior that adoption leads us to be called the children of God. Being adopted is different. And being a child of God is different. There are two terms that you should be aware of being adopted and being a child of God. You cannot be called a child of God unless unless you are adopted by God and that is only by his spirit that Christ or oh, which Christ Abba Father through acceptance of our Lord Jesus because the Bible says in John chapter 3 verses 3 truly truly I say to you unless one is born again he cannot see kingdom of God so the kingdom of God is received through being adopted so you are adopted it's a spiritual blessing once you are adopted then you will be a child of God being adopted it's being transferred from the streets of evil into the streets of the goodness of God being adopted is your transformation from the old into the new oneness of life those who are in Christ a new creature the past has gone hence the new has come first second Corinthians chapter 5 verses 17 first Corinthians sorry second Corinthians chapter 5 verses 17 therefore if a man therefore if any man be in Christ he is a new creature 
if you be in Christ, you are a new creature. So you are known to the old creature. Because the old creature is under a law, is under a spirit of slavery. The old creature is not the child of God. The old creature is not adopted by God. And you cannot be adopted by God via a spirit of slavery. Never will it ever happen. But it happens after one has become a new creature. Hence, and the old has passed away, behold, and new things are become. So once you have become a new creature, that's adoption. You are adopted by God. Because this spirit of slavery was so much, was so rampant in the Jewish culture, whereby many people were taken in a legal system of slavery where people had no relationship with God in the Jewish culture. And in, and in Roman so people had no relationship with God. People had to work hard. People had to do a lot to create that relationship with God. And many of them could die because of their sins that were blossoming before God. Amen. So they had to do a lot. They had to practice a lot to be accepted before God. The Bible says, As people worship God in vain. Why? Because they teach the doctrine of men. They teach the commandments of men. They leave the commandment of God and hold the tradition of men. They follow the law of man to be led into Christ and they forsake the law of the spirit which gives life the Bible teaches in the book of Mark chapter 7 verses 9 that you have rejected the commandment of God to establish your own law or your tradition because once you reject the commandment of God and you establish your own tradition, you are under the spirit of bondage. You are under and you are led by the spirit of bondage. You are not led by the spirit of adoption which cries Abba Father. So being called a child of God and being adopted by God, they are two different things. You cannot be a child of God before you are adopted. You have to be adopted first. You have to be brought from the streets of sinning you have to be brought out from the streets of lack that you have no mother you have no father you are regarded homeless 
so you are brought into the kingdom of light once you're brought into the kingdom of light then what happens second corinthians 5 17 the old has gone the new has come you are given a new glory you are given a new name you are given a new location you are given a new life your life has completely changed and you have become a child of god so you are adopted you are brought back into life you are brought into his freedom you have been called back to life you have been brought back into life you have forsaken the old life so once you move again in the old life in the old path way of life of sinning then you are losing the adoption you have to be free in christ because he set us free once a street child now you are adopted into a family someone who is adopted is a person who has no right over anything you don't have any right you don't have any decision to make because you are just adopted the son in the family you had no hope in your life you had no father you had no mother to take care about you so you were a lost sheep you were a person you were a spirit hovering over the halls of demons you are a spirit that was hovering over the dead life but god had mercy and brought you into his eternal life and we are brought into a great family whereby you are called a child of god through adoption through adoption so once you brought into his family you are free from the spirit of bondage you are free from the yoke of bondage and slavery hence you have become a child of god so being a child of god is being free from all slavery and bondage galatians chapter 5 verses 1 says for freedom christ has set us free his freedom uh, galatians chapter 5 verses 1 let us read this then we say amen galatians chapter 5 verses 1 the bible says stand fast therefore in the liberty where we christ has made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage stand first therefore in the liberty in the liberty liberty that is freedom stand fast therefore in the liberty 
where with Christ has made us free. So, that liberty, that freedom in Christ has set us free. From what? From submitting to the yoke of slavery. From submitting to the yoke of bondage. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. So once you are cut away from the spirit of slavery, you are now announced to be the child of God. So adoption is a spirit. that transforms you from the old you into a new you so once you still walk in the old you then that means you are losing the rights of adoption the heaven sees you as adopted as an adopted child but not yet a child of God. So to be a child of God is to have a total transformation of life to the level of being a child of God. Once you become born again and you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Sevilla Once you are adopted you become a child of God why because your life is transformed. Because you walk as the Spirit of God leads. Known as the Spirit of slavery leads. For once you walk as the Spirit of slavery leads, then that means you are walking under a spirit of the world. You are walking under a spirit of bondage. You are not yet free to be called a child of God. So being called a child of God is another level in the spirit. I know Adam was called a child of God. Israel was called a child of God. But they were not adopted. It's because God wanted to create a relationship with them. That was the old way of salvation in their old system. And being called a child of God in the old system was through a legal system. And that is by law. So to be called a child of God in the old system, you are to go through certain laws to be called a child of God. Adam was called a child of God because he had the laws to follow. Do not eat the tree in the middle of the Garden of Eden. Moses had the laws to follow to lead the children of Israel. So the newness of life in Christ alone is to accept him as your personal Lord and Savior when you live the old life and you become into a new life, you enter into his freedom 
hence forsaking the spirit of bondage. Stand as verse therefore in the liberty where with Christ hath made us free. So you are free from the old bondage, you are free from the old life, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Because you have received the spirit of adoption. They seem so right. They seem so right. Day and night, night and day, they seem so right. Day and night, night and day, they seem so right. video you are worthy of it oh you deserve the glory son masik oh the angels oh Mashakata Mashikata Mashayakata Let's see Rosh Sayaka Saints and Angels Bow be for your throne Oh, the Lamb of God, and see you are the of it. Oh, angels bow before your throne. Oh, the elders cast. The crowns before the Lamb of God and see you are worthy of it. Oh, you are worthy of it. Oh, Jesus, for oh, from you are all things, to you all the things. You deserve the glory, Father, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. We thank you for your blessings. We to be adopted by you. I am a child of God through adoption. I am a child of God through the spirit of adoption. I'm a child of God. Not under the spirit of bondage of slavery. But the spirit that cries Abba Father. Thank you for my life. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, whoever is listening in. May the good God we serve bless you with all spiritual blessings in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Be blessed. May God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Till tomorrow we meet. Bye-bye. Shalom. Shalom.